And a surprising move, the head of New York's highest court is going to step down after more than six years of overseeing the state court system. News 12's Jonathan Gordon is in Bronxville, where Chief Justice Janet DeFiori lives. And Jonathan, did she say why she plans to resign? Yeah, well, she said in a letter that it is time for the next stage in her professional life. She did not exactly say what those next steps are just yet. DeFiori could have stayed on the bench until 2025 when she would have reached the mandatory retirement age of 70. Instead, she sent this letter to her colleagues saying she's leaving at the end of August. It was a bit of a surprise. I don't think anybody had any inkling that uh, she was going to step down. Her tenure was defined by tackling case backlogs and delivering high quality court services even during the pandemic, according to her letter. She served as the Westchester District Attorney from 2006 to 2016 before then Governor Andrew Cuomo nominated her to the New York Court of Appeals. Her announcement comes three months after she wrote the majority ruling that found Democrats unconstitutionally gerrymandered congressional and state Senate lines to their benefit. Despite leading a bench of all Democratic justices, the Court of Appeals has leaned more moderate than the legislature. The recent Supreme Court rulings overturning abortion rights and easing restrictions on concealed carry guns will likely influence this pick. This is an opportunity for Governor Hochul to put her mark on the this Court of Appeals. And last year, uh, Governor Hochul actually did appoint her first justice uh, to the court, the rest of them are all Cuomo selected. Nikita? So what are the next steps, Jonathan, to fill DeFiori's seat? Yeah, so this is Judicial Nomination Committee. They will screen a ton of different candidates. They will send seven of them over to the governor. The governor will get that list to look at. We'll pick one, and that person will still need to be confirmed by a state Senate hearing.